Oppenheimer is science gone wrong. You know, I love how Americans market themselves, justify their wrongs and even make their evil look so glamorous. The $100 million Oppenheimer movie talks about ethical dilemma of the inventor of the atomic bomb. When the US dropped the atomic bomb on Japan, it killed 200,000 people, mostly innocent civilians. The skies poured black rain of the consistency of thick tar, ash mixed with radioactive material. With radiation poisoning, even people without wounds continued to die for months later. For years, many did not absorb nutrition properly. The next generation had birth defects and diseases. But Hollywood will not show you this. Instead, the international media is very concerned why Oppenheimer isn't playing in Japan. Are we surprised? Unhone live destruction dekhi hai ye. And PR mills can't stop talking how Oppenheimer was influenced by the Bhagavad Gita. Please don't use our text to justify your evil. Calling Oppenheimer a brilliant physicist and luminary scientist is exactly what is wrong with morally bankrupt Western powers. Another brilliant mind, Alfred Nobel, owned 355 patents and made his profits from war by owning 90 bomb factories. Yet he was often depressed. Out of his guilt, the merchant of death pioneered the Nobel Prize. The so-called symbol of excellence is tainted with blood money. The Bhagavad Gita says, Pravittim Chandravittim Cha, Jana Na Vidur Asura. Asuric intelligence, a demonic intelligence, does not know the difference between right, wrong, proper, improper. Tamsic Asuric in- intellect does not know Shachya, Satya, or good conduct. Truly brilliant minds and sharp intellect destroys Asuric tendencies. Khudi nahi Asur ban jana hai. Be it dynamite, Atomic bomb or artificial intelligence. Gyan Vigyan needs dharma. Intellect without dharma is like a loose cannon which will cause destruction and human enslavement. Oppenheimer and Alfred Nobel are pure adharma. Stop calling them brilliant intellect.